So, I mean, you know, using real life examples, um, you know, at, at, at Aviary, we, we, we launched, uh, these, you know, these, um, these APIs and we had, you know, 30, 30 partners and within six months, our, our integrations, uh, blew up by, you know, 30, 40 fold because people saw it. They say it's all legitimate companies using it. The inbound was, was off the charts. We literally couldn't handle it. And, um, that led to more products, more features end up leading to integrations from Twitter and photo bucket and MailChimp and Flickr and just insane growth. Um, you know, we were growing, you know, easily in terms of photos being edited and integrations easily 20% a month, you know, month over month. Um, and it, you know, led, I left to join Diwala to do something very similar, but for payments, but it ended up being that, um, you know, Avery got sold to Adobe. Um, and, uh, you know, that whole team there, you know, works with, uh, you know, the whole creative cloud now, and they're a really big part of the Adobe suite of, of apps. So, you know, in terms of putting it all together, I mean, we sort of went through all the different highlights of, of how you go through, you know, figuring out, you know, in terms of figuring out who you should be partnering, you think about what it is you're offering, what is the feature set, what is the partnership to be had and then you just make a hit list of people you want to reach out to it's that's very fairly straightforward um you can use like you know google doc to just put that together and you know figure out all right we need you know we, here's all the big companies and figure out what metric you think of big maybe it's market cap of company maybe it's size of you know for 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 us it was like how many photos are edited or how many photos are uploaded that was the number you know the biggest was facebook but you know, there was so small company. There was a company called Pick Collage. There were small at the time. This is seven years ago. They were a really small app, but they had a lot of photos being uploaded and edit and and could use an editor. So for us, that was you know it wasn't a Facebook, but it was a you know Pick Collage was doing as many uploads as like you know uh, a more popular app like a uh, you know maybe Instagram at the time. So you know while we couldn't get Instagram, we got Pick Collage our growth was, was, you know, um, you know, taken off. So, you know, this is just a really, um, useful strategy to have, like, this is a, a good, you know, arrow to have in your, in, in your, in your toolkit and really just, you know, it doesn't work for everything that you're going to launch, but there are some things that it really works for. So, you know, it's something to just keep in mind, um, and something to evaluate when you're about to put a launch together you also need to give yourself some time when you have launch partners. I, one of the things that is a common theme is pushing the launch off by, you know, two, three weeks a month to get a few more of these launch partners, especially if you start gaining momentum and you get, you know, one, two, three, four, and then you're at seven, you're at 10. You're like, Oh wow, I have a lot. And you can be like, all right, let's just go. But then you're like, you have some meetings with some big companies that you think might be involved. You push it off two weeks, three weeks. Um, and that's not a bad thing. 